It's a great day to talk rehab. I'm Dr. Don DeFabio. Thanks for tuning in. It's trapezius, muscle of the month. That's what we're talking about. Last uh, post was about how the trapezius muscle has three major components, the upper, the middle, and the lower. We also talked about you know, what the trapezius does. Now, the upper trap is really important for strength, power, and stability, but it has a tendency when it gets tight to create a lot of tension in through the neck. So the exercise we're going to talk about are, yes, to strengthen the upper trap, but more importantly, from a corrective exercise paradigm, to strengthen the mid and lower trap to bring those wing bones back and down, and then we'll show you what effect it has on the upper trap. So, uh, Mike, do me a favor, grab me a blue CLX band and come on over here. So, we're going to talk about how we can get this done. So, Mike, say hi to everybody. Hello. So, Mike's here. Um, we're going to work on the traps first. So, we talked about the breakdown. Mike, do you mind taking the shirt off for me, please? Sure. So, upper traps. Let's talk about those. Everybody likes to do upper traps. Great exercise. Um, uh, let's do uh, upright rows. Upright rows. You need to strengthen the upper traps, but if you're having chronic neck pain, you have to be cautious that there's an imbalance between your upper and your mid and lower traps. But if we were just to, you now we're using a CLX band today, you can use weights or cables or a barbell or whatever at the gym. Upright rows, and that's really gonna hit the upper traps. I like to modify it a little bit and do um, a shrug with a, uh, with a, with a roll back. So you're gonna shrug and roll back, yeah. See now, go ahead, do it again. He's getting the upper traps, which is great, but he's also hitting a little bit of anterior, middle, and posterior delt. Turn everybody back uh, towards this way. Yeah, towards the camera. Yeah, turn no, the other way back. So do the the, the, the shrugs with the, with the rotation. And you see what happens here? He gets that mid and lower trap. Okay, do it again. And hold the bottom. Right there, that mid and lower trap is really, really important because that's under, under exercise for most people. So how do you hit that when you do your back workout? Relax, it's real simple. Let's say you're doing a row, a seated row. I'll step over here and really engage those mid and lower traps first and then row. And you see how the wing bones depress and rotate down and he's not getting a lot of tension in the upper traps. That's what we want. So any of your rowing motions, if you get that depression and retraction first, it'll do the trick. What about a bent over fly? You can do the same thing with bent over flies, all right? Anything that's gonna work the back, you can get that right in through here, feel that pinch, and then recover. And then get that pinch in here, keeping this relaxed, all right? So mid and lower traps, turn the back towards the camera again. It's all about scapular retraction and depression, getting those wing bones back and down. You have to physically engage that before you do the other compound movements. But guess what? Stand on the CLX, and you're gonna do a curl, bicep curl. Final bicep curl, curl. yeah. You can take that same concept of retraction and depression and now do a bicep curl. And you're engaging those mid and lower traps while you're doing other muscles. Doing tricep pushdowns, mid and lower traps, you can still do it. And of course, our gold standard is Brugger's exercises. So let's put your hand in the loops of the CLX. This is the gold standard for corrective postural exercise to get this chest up shoulders back and down and engage those mid and lower traps, pinch and extend and then send the arms out. Real tight in through here, nice and loose up and through here. So those are the tips when you wanna work your traps. It's okay to work upper traps, but don't work upper traps so much that your mid and lower traps, great, thanks a lot Mike, uh, aren't as involved and they become weakened. So make sure you hit those mid and lower traps with all of your everyday activities in the gym, always working on tall, strong posture, and that's where those mid and lower traps come in. Hey, it's been a great day to talk rehab. I'm Dr. Donald Fabio, trapezius, muscle of the month. Stay tuned.